What's up, everybody? It's your friendly neighborhood, Hug Dungles, back again with another reaction video, as always, by my side, Hot Sam. Hot Sam! And today, we're getting into uh, a Sam Smith cover from John Saga. A lot of people requested this uh, a while back, and we just never got to. We always yeah. have a ton of requests coming through. Uh, but this one is Too Good at Goodbyes. Uh, by Sam Smith. I love Sam Smith. We are yes. a huge fan. I feel like I and said I love Sam Smith this, a lot. I love this song as well. I enjoy this yes. song as well. Let's go ahead and jump into it and see what's going on. Let's do it. I like the butterflies on the wall. John Saga. John Saga. That's like a, it's like a common thing now. With Too like good the, a goodbye. The block text. Yeah. You must think that I'm stupid. Whoa. You must think that I'm a fool. Hold up. What? You must think that I'm new to this. But I've seen this all before. Never gonna let you close to me. Even though you mean the most to me. Cause every time I open up it hurts. Oh. Mm. Never gonna he like sounds me. so similar. Even when I mean the most to you. In case you go and leave me in the dirt. Cause every time you hug me, what? the less that I cry. And every time you leave me, the quicker these tears dry. And every time you hug me, I'm like almost mad because it's so good. I'm like, how are you so good, bro? Yeah. It's sad, but it's true. I'm way too good at goodbye. Oh, wow. Oh, cool. He's got the backtrack. Oh, my oh, cool. gosh. And he's like just staring straight forward. It's like, Wow. What? <laughs> Sam Smith's so hard to cover, too. That's so It's like Adele, you know? Yes. Oh. Mm. He's got that soulful, like, mm. Yeah. Oh, I love that. He's getting it too, like he's got the like. I just love that he just stares straight forward, like that's so like yes. focused and intense. Yes. Even when I need the most of you, you need to go and leave me in the dirt. Cause every time you hurt me, the less that I go. Yeah. And every time you leave me, the quicker this tears dry. And every time you hurt me, the less. face right at the very end was like so emotional too like look at his face like do you yeah. see that like it's like that emotion yeah going through like him? he like he's Felt a performer oh, like yeah. he is definitely a performer. like you could see like that drive in his face like well, like he started off like you said he had like deadpan stare like it's really cool yeah. but as like the i call it the gospel style you know of like the backtrack and everything's kicking in like yeah. he really starts like going into it I love it. His voice is like next level. Yeah. He he's one of the best artists that we've I heard. Agree with I'm that. honestly 100%. super surprised we haven't heard more about him. Yeah, like why isn't he like on the wish bus? Or is, has he been on the wish bus? We like, talk about this a lot. Well, we used to back in the day. 
Because it's a thing I used to say where I'd say, man, I've been sleeping on this person. Yeah. He is the epitome of, man, I've been sleeping on him because I didn't know. But today I got woke up. Um, Amazing performance. Amazing. We talked about it. I'm (laughs) like speechless. Like the seven stages of Sam trying to like figure things out. She's like, I'm like speechless just because it, (laughs) you know, I'm like, I just want to like binge watch all of his covers. I see that he has a ton of them when we were trying to find this. It was hard to find this, uh, to find this video. Cause it was like, I don't know if it's not on YouTube anymore or whatever, but like we had to track this one down. I wonder if it's cause it sounds like so similar similar to Sam Smith YouTube's like, Oh, this is a re-upload he, of... I mean, he's got his own kind of feel. Yeah. You know, like, it, it is very similar, though. Like, he, he... We talked about this in the video. It's like doing Adele. You know, there's certain artists that just have that thing. You know, they have that emotion mm-hmm. that's just part of their, their music. And it's very hard to duplicate. Yeah. It's very hard to pull it off. Um... And I feel like he did so well. It's like he channeled Sam Smith. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Um, I would actually love to hear him do something Adele. Yeah. Like, I think that would be really good. It would suit his voice because they have very similar voices. I'm wondering if this is like his wheelhouse. Like, what is like his normal music? What What would a song that he would sing? Yeah. Sound like? Do you, like is he an R&B style artist? Yeah, like, like you what, know? does he rap? Does he, or, like, I don't know. That'd be interesting. Yeah. I don't imagine a rapper, like, singing like that, but. Hey, I you guess. never know, because KZ can sing like that, and she can rap. Yeah, but I wouldn't call KZ a rapper. Like, she can rap, but I wouldn't call her a rapper. Word. You get what I'm saying? Like, she's, she's a, she was, she's one of the people I call, like, an artist. You know, somebody who, who kind of dabbles in all of it. Like Post Malone. I wouldn't call Post Malone a rapper. Because most of his songs, even though they're like driven by rap style beats, aren't really rap songs. A lot He's of them like are like rock and country. Spoken. And, like, like, yeah, but they're more of like a, a rock and roller, like a folk almost style but like music. like even his rap is kind of like a spoken rap. Yeah. Like, yeah. Do you know what I'm that saying? That makes like, sense. So I see him as more of an artist. I see KZ as more of an artist. I don't you know. know. I listen to Casey's Whereas, Lobo and I'm like, she like throwing fire, man. Like, that's rap. Okay. Anyway, off of KZ, back to John Saga. Let's, uh, like, I wonder what his style of music would be, though. Would it be this R&B, do you think? I think so. Because I wonder if he's got that artist vibe. Yeah. Like, can he do, like you say, rap? Or does he do pop music that isn't, like, that R&B side? Like, so by artist, do you mean, like, can he, like, make his own style instead of just duplicating it kind of thing? Artist Because by, I look at artist as, like, I look at him as an artist okay. already just because he's a singer. Like, and yeah, that's but, art. Well, that's what I was saying with, with, like, KZ and Post Malone. Like, they can do any style. They're not a rapper. They're not a pop singer. They're not a... You get what I'm saying? Like, they they do anything. Any genre. Any... You know, and they can make it their own. They're just an artist. They're yeah. not like... That's why I said, like, I wouldn't call KZ a rapper. Because she's also a singer. Like, she, she can do anything. I feel like she does, like, soul music. She does... Uh, you know, rock music, pop music, and yeah. rap. Like, she does everything. Same with what I was saying about Post Malone. He can do any style. Um, and there's some artists out there that are artists. They're, like, they're not necessarily pigeonholed into any one thing. Right. You know, whereas when I think of Sam Smith, I think of just that R&B style, this song. Songs that sound like this. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I don't see uh, Sam Smith and I think, like, oh, he can, he can rap. He can, yeah. you know, sing, like... Uh, rock song like a rock you know like a hard rock song you know what i mean um and it's like i feel like he could do multiple styles or just with the way the tonality of his voice i feel like it would lend well to other styles and like you said about adele i do think he could nail adele Mm -hmm. definitely and it's like if you can capture that emotional side if you can capture that like really uh deep quality that an artist like sam smith has it's like it's very rare, in my opinion. It's yeah. very rare to like truly encapsulate that that 
it factor. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Not only to just be able to match the notes and whatever and, and do that thing, but, like, he really had that, like, soulful, like, that. And I all I can do to explain it is just, like, that deep, guttural, like, emotion. Yeah. Like, you cried. Yeah. Listening to it. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. how often does that happen? Not often. I was like, oh, I got a tear. Well, especially nowadays. Like, how many artists do we listen to on the channel? A lot. Like, how, how many It's different... really rare because of how many people we listen to for me mm-hmm. to be, like... Im- like, I know it sounds terrible, but for me to be impressed. Exactly. Like, because well, we hear so many great talent. And it's like, oh, it's just another great talent. It's just another great talent. But it's like, this one stands out to me. I think I'm it's impressed. because it's different. It's hard to find something different. KZ was super different to us. Yeah, KZ Zia. will forever be like Zia was a life super, changing thing for me, to be uh, honest. KZ was super different. Zia was super different. Birdie was super different. Birdie was huge. Like, it, yeah. it's just rare moments where we find somebody that kind of stands out from the crowd. Because there's so many amazing singers that we listen to. So many. Yeah. Uh, I think Maury with the whistle note. Yes. You know what I mean? Like, that's yes. something that just, like, that's her. That is. And then Moira, That's something not everybody pulls farted. out. Yes. No, I'm just kidding. She's got a great voice. Moira has honestly jumped up uh, my yes. list on the female side uh, of all the singers. Now John Saga is jumping up on the male mm-hmm. side. And I also you know, believe that personality plays into it because you can see a personality sure. just from watching someone sing in their bedroom or wherever he's at in his in his house. You can see so much personality, and I think that had a lot to do with it because of the passion that he had, like behind the song. I was like, this guy's got this. Well, the other thing, too, is, like, I could see him singing with, like, a Bagoy. Yeah. I think it'd be cool to see him and Bagoy go at it. Because mm-hmm. Bagoy's got that soulful Yeah. Swagger. Or Sam Mangabat. Sam would be a good one, too. Yeah. I could see him singing with a lot of people. I mean, even sure. uh, Michael Pangnelian. Like, yeah. He's got that chill, like, uh, ooh, maybe a Brian McKnight song. That'd yeah. be kind of good for them. I don't know. Let us know what you thought in the comments down below. It's very rare to make Sam drop a tear uh, yeah. over a song. So that impresses me over anything, to be yeah. completely honest. Uh, but let us know what you thought. Like it if you did. Sub if you don't already. And uh, we'll be back with more videos later. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.